Hi, this is Mike Han. Molly. With Virtuoso Builders, and welcome to another edition of Behind Mind the Drywall. Today, our topic is something we hear a lot, which is what is the difference or what are the advantages between a wood look vinyl and a wood look tile? Yes, and today we are at Oakrent Flooring with the next generation, Jason Oakrent, and we're in their beautiful showroom and we're going to talk specifically about that because we are not the experts on this, but Jason is the expert. So, and he even brought out some cool samples. So. Jason, we get this question so much. Um, what are the advantages? What are the disadvantages of the wood tile versus uh, the final plank tile or that looks like wood? So what would you say? Well, customers often come in and ask the same question. The first, que the first um, thing we want to know is what's the situation? Um, certain products can go in different areas. Um, and so the vinyl tile does get a bad rap with vinyl in it, but it's come such a long way oh, yeah. since since the sheet vinyl days. And so you can see I brought an example here. This is a floating vinyl plank, which is typically, on, as in the name, floating on top of your floor. It has a registered and embossed texture that makes it look so much more realistic than it used to back so in the day. You actually have to touch it. I had to, when we walked in, I had to touch it just to see it. And then the other option is tile. This sucker also has come a long way with the textures and the number of prints is a big factor when it comes to the question of should I invest in a quality vinyl or in a tile. The other aspect is always comfort level. You know, tile is harder and sometimes a little cooler underfoot. And if, if the homeowner is wanting something that's kind of more comfortable and warmer, vinyl might be the option, if, if not wood, the real stuff. And they come in all the different colors. It really is, I think it's the, the 3D imaging. Is that what it is that makes it look so almost exactly like wood? Definitely. You want to make sure that when you are shopping, especially on a, on a vinyl product, that it's what's called embossed and registered. What that means is wherever you see a knot, there's going to be the texture versus something just like a random texture that doesn't look real. And so that's one of the features that um, will come up when it says, how come this product is $8 a square foot retail versus $3 a square foot? And um, like many things in life, you get what you pay for. There's many um, levels of the vinyl product. I brought here, we have a lot of examples to show based on the type of construction, you can get the same print on different construction levels. So when it comes to budget wise, there's different options in the marketplace. Yeah, and there's some bright on there too. Yeah, and I brought this out because a, a, a big big question is is, is what's, what's trending now? You're seeing more and more herringbone features for, not for the full floor, but they could also do for maybe a foyer. And the, the products are coming with not only a herringbone version, but they have the coordinating planks, which allows you to do place the herringbone in just the foyer area or do what they call a rug insert to have that real nice focal point. That's the vinyl plank? This is the real wood, but vinyl, vinyl is creating those, those skews now. That's really kind of the evolution of that. Vinyl's trying to, they're all, they're all copying the real, real wood. There's nothing gonna bring more value to your home than real wood, there's no denying that. But there's certain situations where maybe it's an upstairs application, you wanna have the same floor throughout, where you can't, you shouldn't put a tile on the second story because it's too heavy for your home. So the vinyl could be an option there. Great. Well, that's some great informative stuff. <laughs> Thank you. More than I could actually yeah. answered. Yeah. So thanks for joining us. Thank you to Jason and Oak Rent Floors for hosting so us today. Always. Thanks. Hopefully we gave you some good info and uh, thanks again. Yeah, and if you have any questions, feel free to let us know. You can always call Oak Rents as well. 
Um, and then hopefully we can answer some questions. If there are any other topics you want to hear about, please let us know and then subscribe, share with your friends, and we'll see you next time. Thank you all.